Carson. What's up, Hi. Carmen? <laughs> so glad to have you with us today. Awesome. It's great to be here. Appreciate you having having me on and talking a little bit. Good to see awesome. you. Awesome. This is so fun. So tell me a little bit about you and Ashley and your business and how you came to EXP Realty. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, I've been in the business 27 years. And uh, in those 27 years, I've, you know, we sold, you know, a lot of houses in Nashville, Tennessee. And we're just excited about what's going on with uh, with the regionals and, you know, just selling more properties and my son's running a lot of our day-to-day -day stuff right now. And we've, I've been in the business 27 years doing this. So I just love it. I love so real estate. You, you've been in 27 years. What made you make the move to EXP? Um, agent ownership and the fact that, you know, our agents actually own the brokerage. Hey, I'm going to make sure my phone doesn't die by getting a jump driver. I just okay. looked at my phone. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So, uh, yeah, what made me jump to EXP was the fact that the agents actually get the, the piece of the pie that they've always deserved. And that's, you know, owning the brokerage. And uh, I am so sorry. I didn't realize my phone was this low. I'm, I'm a madman. You know, I'm like a mad I mean, scientist. Jane Wilson is to be expected, right? I mean, you know, you're not going to get anything other than that. I mean, so, you you know. <laughs> My wife I'll had to marry me it. and accept I'll some of it. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, but yeah, um, you know, we've been very blessed at EXP. Look at me getting cords out. This is probably more, watching me struggle to get a phone charge is probably more interesting my story. But, uh, but um, yeah, I mean, I've always loved the day-to-day, -day, Carmen, of real estate. And yep. I love seeing the faces of, of people when they buy a house and, you know, I've sold 1,300 houses in Nashville, so I, I got a little bit of experience. And uh, there we go. I got a charge. I got a charge. Awesome. So you sold 1,300 houses in Nashville? Yep. And most of those were as an individual agent. Um, I only, I had a team for about three years and just wanted to really just focus on, you know, help, you know, selling houses myself and and I love the process. Some people say, oh, I don't show houses anymore. I loved it. I, I absolutely love the joy of take. I, it's like a big scavenger hunt. And oh. so when I, I was selling at Remax, I sold 81 houses by myself my last year there with by myself without a buyer's agent. And so, you know, it, I tend to be my wife says that work is play for you, Jay. Play is work for you. So I have a little bit of a problem there and uh but i love the process and well, i've I mean, always you don't loved love what you do it's not worth doing right i mean yeah i, I agree i mean you gotta love what you're doing and obviously you do love it and you're invested in it and you have gone 100 percent with both feet into exp realty i know you Absolutely. do a lot of recruiting you do a lot of motivational stuff so like what advice do you give to agents that are like trying to get their business off the ground? Like what would you tell them on how to do that? Oh, I, I'm glad you brought that question up. Like I, I call it the $20 fajita and I'll, okay. I'll explain it. Um, whenever somebody calls me and says, man, I see your billboard. I see you've done this. I watch you on social and I want to be a realtor. I say, hey, let's go, let's go to, let's go have a fajita. And when I get there, I say to them, enjoy the fajita because here's the deal. I'm going to spend the next 30 minutes figuring out if it's, if it's a, you know, what your work ethic scale is and whether this is a good idea for you even to say you want to be a realtor. And I, and I tell them, look, I, I, what I don't want is for you to fail. And so, you know, we're going to, when we're done with the $20 fajita, you're going to know right then and there if this industry's for you, because, because I, I don't want you to come into this and think that it's easy. Yeah. And if your work ethics below an eight, you won't make it because there's too many people out there that have nine, 10, 11, 20 on the work ethic. So, so I literally ask them, are, are you obsessed with working? Are you obsessed with, and you know what? I think I might, and I'm okay with this, but I just, you know, 
it's a lot of work to be a great agent. And so I want to make sure that they're, they're not hearing a bunch of fluff because that's what a lot of the other brokerages do. They just fluff them up and then they give them big high splits and they just try to steal their database and all this crap. And I just don't do that. I, I, I want them to win. I don't, I don't want, I want them to build a brand around themselves. And, uh, I, I've helped a lot of agents, you know, blow it up and that's how I've done it. Well, it is, I mean, it is work. And I feel like that is a misconception that a lot of new agents have is that they don't understand how much actual work is involved in the process. You know, and it's, uh, you know, and, and right now with interest rates being where they are, I think it's great because it's weeding out all the people that think this is easy. Mm-hmm. It's more, the, the hard workers are going to make more money in the next three years than they did in the past three years because people are tapping out, you know? And I'm like, hey, they weren't they weren't supposed to be in the game anyway. But right. I'm going to say this, and this is a very important part of what I'm saying. I was a waiter in a restaurant. I don't have a fancy background. When I was in the restaurant, I was I loved it just like I loved you know, I, I actually told Ashley the other day, I would so love to just put a bow tie on and an apron and go in there and go hard and show all these people I can still do it because I love people. But here's the thing. The misconception is, is, is you need everything handed to you. I was never on anybody's team. I was always like a, be- a really good copycat with better, try to get better work ethic than some of these other people. But, um, you know, I, I, I just believe in building a brand around the actual agent. EXP lifts the brand, right? Because we're right. global. But it's right. still Jay Nelson and Dean Nelson and, you know, Carmen and all these agents. I say come in and go hard. Learn and apply it and do the work. So i give you an example. We have a lady named Fonda and Randy Hatmaker out of Manchester. The day I met her, I said, what's your work ethic on a scale from 1 to 10? She said, I'm an 11. I said, well... I see better than I hear. And she sold 36 homes her first year, 68 in her second, 72 in her third, and this is her fourth year, and she'll break 100 houses. So that, to me, is someone that takes this, the coaching, that takes the information and puts the work behind it. Right. And so would you agree that EXP offers, like, more training? Like, it, everything is here that you need to build your business. You just have to take advantage of it? Absolutely. Um you know, like like I've always said, you know, I, I just truly believe that agents are out building a, an occupation mm-hmm. and not a business. Gotcha. Yeah. And, I, and I'll give you an example. Please that a little bit. Yeah, please do. I mean, you know, there's no sense in not doing both. You know, when I when I can't and, and what I mean by that is if, if something happens to a surgeon, if he wrecks his Ferrari on the way to the surgery They don't call his wife the next day and say, hey, so sorry about your husband. Can you come in and do the knee surgery? Because that's an occupation. And as realtors, I spent, and guys, I'm just keeping it real with y'all. I spent, you know, I've only been 20 years of my life as a great, great at my occupation. And then when I saw EXP, I said, well, I'm still, I'm not going to stop being great at my occupation, but I'm going to build a business around the brokerage that I'm helping other people grow because if you, we don't get paid to recruit. That's the misconception. That's the thing where, you know, our competitors like to talk trash. That's fine. Look at what we're doing. You can keep talking trash, but here's the deal. Um, I don't believe that agents should be selling real estate at a brokerage they don't own and get a piece of Mm -hmm. because we're the ones selling all the, all the real estate and we don't get paid Carmen to recruit. If I bring on an agent to EXP and they say, Jay Nelson, I want you to mentor me. Well, I don't get paid a cent until they sell. So I don't get paid to recruit them. And and I've always said, I'm trying to build T2-1000s. If you've ever seen the Terminator, like I want to build agents into Terminators. They got to be the best. They got to be the biggest, strongest, fastest. That's the best of both worlds because, you know, uh, every sponsor doesn't feel the way that you do. And I feel like, you know, when you bring someone into EXP, it's partly your responsibility to help them grow their business. Oh, a hundred percent. And, you know, it, when, when an agent fails, 
a lot of that's on the sponsor. The sponsor didn't, you know, I've always said this. When I bring on an agent, I say, you realize what's happening now? And they're like, what? And I say, I work for you. I work for you. But you better be doing some work, too, because I don't have time to work for lazy people. So if I'm working for you and I'm out working you, then I don't really want you around me anymore because I, I just have that proximity mindset. I, I only want to be associated with people that that are passionate about what they do, that are very good students. I'm still a student. Carmen, I am obsessed with learning and, and absorbing and data. Like I'm a studier and I've studied EXP upside down, for, backwards and forwards. And I've never seen a model that allows every single agent to be able to, to excel at both selling houses in that occupation and building a long-term business that you can will to your family when you decide to get out of real estate or sure. something happens to you. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like you have a great um, perspective, you know, on that and how sponsors should take some sort of responsibility for their agents and help them to grow their business. And obviously you do a really good job of that. You and Ashley. So, Thank you. Thank uh, you, Carmen. Me, oh, absolutely. And you, you, you know, you've taken the, the initiative to have these regional rallies that we're having. So we're having one in Nashville on November 6th. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, I'm so excited guy. I, I mean, Carmen, I'm so excited because I just feel like those, those, everybody wins at the level they want to win. I'm not saying that I don't, you know, like I just need to get the guidelines of somebody. Like if somebody says, well, my husband's an attorney and I just want to sell six houses a year, then let's make that plan for you. Right. So, so to me, it's not about the being the biggest agent. It's about being the best agent and being really good at, at, at the work part of it. And, and, and not everybody wants to sell a hundred houses a year. So at these rallies, we're recognizing everybody. Like if you sold your first house, that's a big freaking deal. I want to put you on stage and I want to have you feel good about selling your first house and take a picture saying rock star rookies. And I want to celebrate every level of agent because I think most brokerages don't because they're like, oh, here's the top 10. Right. Great. What about the other 290 at your franchise? Right. Because right, everyone needs recognition, whether it's your first house, your second house, your cap, your icon, whatever. Everyone's at different levels and that recognition is important no matter where, what level you're at. Yep. And we that's what these regionals are about. They're about recognition. We're bringing on icons from out of state. So the icons, you know, in Nashville won't be from Tennessee. There'll be one of them. Sean Work is from uh, Sacramento. He's a five time icon um, killer. Um, and uh, I'm just telling you, we're bringing in the right agents, uh, uh, diarrhea, di di diarrhea, diarrhea, no, no, <laughs> did you, did you say that? <laughs> I'm so bad at Daria, uh, Vasquez is coming in from <laughs> Daria, <laughs> man, I better not mess that up on the, on the, on the sixth, um, Daria Vasquez is coming in. She's an icon agent. She's only been in the business a few years and, you know, I just, I love hearing everybody's story because everybody has a different story. Well, and I feel like that is what EXP has to offer because we're not limited to agents in this area or that area. We have access to the best agents all across the world, really. Yep, we do. And, um, and that is what I feel like sets us apart from other brokerages. Like we, you know, you're not limited to your little, you know, your little brokerage that you have a couple of people that sell a lot of houses. We have access to the best of the best Absolutely. across the globe. Wouldn't you agree and speak to that? A hundred percent. And we have the best brokers like you, you know, you're a broker and you're servicing, you know, I, I look at, like I said, I said, sponsors work for the people they bring into EXP they and should. the brokers, you guys work for the agents and we couldn't do it without you. I mean, we couldn't put up 400,000 houses sold last year at EXP if we didn't have great people like yourself and all the other brokers across the United States and all over the world for that matter.
But and, and I and I do agree with that. I feel like you know a strong broker team in your state is important. And I can give kudos to Angel Scott and Kim Spell that you know broker awesome. safety. Um, we I feel like we do have a strong staff in place um, with our with us and then with our ASAs and our compliance people. Um, from what I understand, I've only been here about five months in Tennessee. I was in Arkansas prior, but I feel like what, from what I understand, we have the strongest, you know, staff in place now that they've had in a long time. And so we, we're totally geared towards being agent success obsessed. Yeah. And you know, that's one of the core values of EXP is, is we, we want to say yes to the agents. And that is what, you know, we're here to do. That's what we want to do. We want to support you guys uh, however however we can. And, you know, I know that you do a lot for your downline and your team, but you also have a secondary level of support with the brokerage staff. And yep. I feel like another thing that says EXP apart, like you, because they have so many levels of support. Yep. Yep. And, and, and there is, you know, to be able to sit at your kitchen table, and access the one day I came into the cloud in Tennessee, I'll never forget it. I go, I took a ticket, right? I'm on my laptop, sitting at my kitchen table. And then all of a sudden it's like, boom. And I'm looking at you, Kim and Angel. I had three brokers right in front of me and I'm sitting there drinking coffee. And I'm like, holy crap, where would you get that kind of instant service? And y'all were sitting right there on my laptop in front of me going, what can we do to help you, Jay? And, yeah. you know, y'all all divided and conquered and took care of that issue. I mean, it's crazy. You know, I, I tell people all the time, I'm like, they're like, what is it about EXP? And I said, it makes you faster. As an agent, I need to be fast. I need to get things done quicker. If you get things right. done faster, you can do more deals. You can make more money. You can help more people. Absolutely. So okay. y'all are, yeah. are a big part of that. Well, and I appreciate that. And I've talked to, you know, to, to agents that had brick and mortar brokers and they couldn't they couldn't find them in the office, you know? And I feel like we offer um, more hours of support and um, just through different me methods of communication. And so I feel like we do offer, you know, we offer seven to seven, 12 hours a day communication Crazy. through email and workplace. We have eight hours in the world. Um, it's, I mean, I'm on the other side, so as an agent, you you can you can speak to this, but as a broker, I feel like we offer more support and more hours than any other brokers that I've yeah. been aware of. Yeah, you do, and 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 it's also about like you know, Mike Foutois is in, is in charge of the accounting department at EXP, and ever since I came to EXP seven years ago, I walk in and there's Mike, right? And I'm like, Mike, where's my stock? You know, how much is my stock worth, right? That EXP gave me a lot of it and I earned it or however you want to call it um, because every person can earn. So I, I say gave, but I really earned it and EXP just let me earn it, right? Um, and and Mike's been there for the beginning of time and I, I've asked him multiple times, Mike, why do you stay at EXP? And he goes, man, I just, I sit at my house at my office at home, you know, and I get to be able to just, you know, type in and service you guys. So it is, it's, I think it's speed for you guys too, because you don't have to be locked down. If you were locked down to being you in that, in a physical office, Carmen, there's no way in hell that you and Kim and Angel would sit in one office for 12 hours a day. Exactly. exactly. So we take technology speed things up for you guys on the staff and it speeds things up for us as agents and that's why people come to exp and they don't leave staff wise whatever it is to almost 1900 or 2000 whatever it is how many people we have working for us our retention's crazy because why would you want to go and work in an office when you can work from your kitchen table and still give like double the amount of service to the to the agents Right. No, I know. I agree. I, I do feel like we offer as much support as, as anyone else can offer. More, I mean, way more, support. way more. I feel that Not, way. Don't say we offer as much. We offer <laughs> way more. I'm okay. telling you who else could walk <laughs> I in. I don't want to brag on ourselves, but I no. mean, it's just, 
I'm like doing this. it. Okay. <laughs> because who could walk into a brokerage right now, just out of the blue with no appointment, and bam, you got three badass brokers saying, what can we do to badass. help you? That doesn't happen. I sold a 1,000 houses at REMAX. They never gave me one share of stock. Never could I walk in an office and, and get three brokers to go, boom, and help me. Never. Yeah, well, you got lucky that day. But I mean, it happens. It does happen a lot. I mean, it, it really does. I mean, we, we seriously try to be available and be agent success success, which is what one of our core values is. And, that, and that's our goal. That's what we reach for. That's what we strive for. Uh, we're all about the agents and how we can support them, help them get them to the next level and, you know, and that kind of thing. So tell me about, let's talk a little about the rally. Tell me where it's going to be, when it's going to be, how we can people well, sign up for it. Well, there, listen, first of all, everybody needs to be at one of these. Like it's, it's no excuse. I mean, there's, first of all, we want to recognize your production. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, you know, make sure that you get some stage time and you get to, you know, take pictures and put them on your social media. So you get the, the recognition for being a productive agent. Um, the, the second part of that is why would you not want to come and learn from some of the best agents in the nation on their playbooks? So, you know, the agents called me and said, Jay, what do you want me to do? Um, you know, what do you want me to, to talk about? And I said, open your playbook. Everything you've done, everything you're doing, where you're spending your money. I said, I need your whole playbook. Like, open it all up and and share their story about real estate and how they, you know, like I told you, I was a waiter. Like, I didn't, I didn't have a fancy background, you know. Um, but I, I'm telling y'all, it, it, it's a no-brainer. And it's November 6th in Nashville, but it's anywhere from November 1st to November 17th across the nation. We have 29 locations, two in Canada. So we're, we're going all in to, to give back to the agents in every way. Uh, the tickets are 49 bucks a piece. Um, you know, all the EXP staff, you guys are staff, you work for EXP, so y'all don't have to buy a ticket. But um, every agent will buy a $49 ticket. They can buy an extra ticket for a guest. I don't think there's any better way to show the what exp is about than getting somebody to one of these regionals they'll be like blown away i, I can tell you right now 90 percent of y'all that bring a guest to a regional that agent Good. will sign up for exp i think it's a nine out of ten if you have ten guests nine of them are coming to exp and so, so what, it, what, is yeah. location for the, what is the location for the rally well, the one in Nashville is at a Cornerstone uh, Church, and it's a mega church, you know. And the reason, one of the reasons, we have great audio visual. Um, it, it, it's going to be a great venue. It's beautiful. It's got the big screens. I mean, it's going to be great. So um, the tickets that they can get are at EXP Realty Regional Tickets with an S dot com. EXP Realty Regional tickets with an s.com and you can okay. look at all the different regionals and you I'll can go to multiple link. regionals okay i'll drop that link in the in the youtube um video when we get this when we get this posted but i'll also share it in our workplace chat and just encourage everybody to attend because i mean it doesn't to in me it doesn't matter what industry you're in or what brokerage you're in the more that you plug in to what is going on the more successful that you're going to be Absolutely. And you know what? I, I would love for y'all in Tennessee to get those links out, you know, at least a couple of times every week till we get up to the date because we really want to pack it out. We also have Russ Lagging coming in uh, and oh, he's yeah. going to be. Yeah, he's an executive. He's in charge of the growth. He's a dynamic guy, a, a big time real estate guy. He's going to teach. It's just going to be great, Carmen. And, you know, I, I really hope people will make an effort to be at these and bring a guest if you want to buy an extra ticket for a guest or whatever. But it, they're going to be magical. They really are. I mean, wouldn't you, wouldn't you agree? Like, the more you invest in yourself, I mean, it may be like, oh, my gosh, I don't want to drive two hours, or oh, my gosh, I'm going to pay $49, or oh, my gosh, that's going to take my whole day. But when you do that and you invest in yourself and you invest in your business, you you get back tenfold what what you put in. Would you not agree with that? 
I mean, if you're taking this business seriously, why would you not want to be at an event? Because you're going to bounce into people that sell hundreds of houses. You're going to bounce into, you know, the agents on stage that are teaching that sell 10 million a year in, in sales. Why? Like, don't tell me you take your business seriously, but you won't drive four hours to that. Like, I'm, I'm a little bit football coach. I grew up playing football. My coaches were so hard on me. They were, they were a nightmare, but they made me better. My high better. school football coach was, was the hardest guy. He was, he was almost, I mean, I was scared to death of him, even though I'm not really scared of much. Um, but I was scared to death of him, but he made me a better player. And what I'm telling y'all is if you're not surrounding yourself with people that get the best out of you, get, a, get away from them. They're bringing you down and you're going to meet people in the hallway at these regionals that you're going to make lifelong friends with. And they're willing to help you here at EXP because we're aligned. We're all owners. Don't you think that's the, that's the difference between EXP and their brokerages is that we we're building one big fire and I've heard them, you know, talk about that. Like, if your other if your co-workers do well you do well because that helps everybody it helps our stock prices it helps yes. everybody and so it kind of in my mind it takes the competition because real estate can be really cutthroat and i feel like exp's model um helps kind of eliminate that and it brings the the collaboration together versus the competition how do you feel about that i love that no you're 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 so right because you know, you got 89,000 agents across the nation and of the world in 26 countries. When they sell a house, Carmen, your stock goes up exactly. or, or it helps the company. I mean, we have no debt at our company. We have hundreds of millions of dollars in liquid cash. We don't, we're running a real, we're one of the most profitable brokerages in the world, but mm -hmm. it's the alignment. I mean, I tell people all the time and we actually own a Corolla, but there's a difference between a Toyota Corolla and a Ferrari. Okay? okay, because of the design, they're designed differently. Their engines run differently, right? There's a reason why the Ferrari goes that fast and the Corolla doesn't because the EXP is designed to everyone help each other because it's agent owned. So, it, you know, it's really about the design of the brokerage that separates it from everybody else because it does create way less competition and more everybody helping each other. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And it, I feel like this is a common theme in the interviews that I do. It's just, it's the collaboration. It's the agents working together and wanting everyone to succeed. And I feel like that's a common theme that comes up when we talk to agents is that's how they feel about this brokerage is it's not you against me. It's let's help each other. It is. And, and like I said, I love, you know, we're in Nashville. If anybody needs anything in Nashville, whatever you know, we're just focused on other agents' success. Um, Ashley and I, you know, we're fairly big in the company to some degree, um, and we've been blessed. You know, this is a God thing. God put EXP in our life, and it's our job to pay it forward to other people. Well, I love that. I love that about you guys. I love that you're so willing to give of your time and your knowledge, and, and we've gone over the time that we normally go for these interviews, but... Um, this has been really great. So is there anything that you want to leave everybody with today other than sign up for the rally? Sign up for the rallies, get to the rallies, bring a guest to the rallies, take bring a real hard look. Prospects. Yeah. Yeah. You can get, you can bring one, you can buy one extra ticket per rally for a prospect. Gotcha. Awesome. So I'm excited and I'll see you there, Carmen. I will be there, and I certainly appreciate the time that you've given us today, Jay, and I will let you go back to your – I know you're in your car, so obviously you're going somewhere. So. <laughs> I'm always just – you know what? My wife says I'm like a little Tasmanian devil. I'm running around <laughs> like crazy, like a chicken well, I, on my head. I throat. certainly appreciate you, and I will stop the recording now, and I will Thanks, talk Carmen. to you soon. Absolutely. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. God bless you. See ya. Okay, so...